and today we're starting to move the batteries from the engine bay through to inside. Uh, got a feeling this is going to be a lot of fun, having watched Minimalist's video of doing a pretty similar thing. Um, our setup is a little bit different, uh, just with the amount of inverters and everything else that's also going in board. I'll run you through what we're going to do. Um, seen in the other video, very brief one where I uh, run through what we've done. There's been a change since then, so some of that's irrelevant. Change from the Raspberry Pi to a Servo, Victron Servo GX device, which has been pretty good. Um, the lithiums have changed in particular for uh, a reason I'll go through. Um, ended up costing a bit more to, uh, to get done in the time scale that I've got, but I'll run through what we've got to do. Combination of how we're charging and what we're charging. Here, we've got the Serbo, which has now replaced the Raspberry Pi. We still have accessories, still have pretty much the same thing as we had there. And we're running two DC-DC Orion chargers. One that will run the starter battery, 18 amp. One that will run the life pose at 30 amps. Um, power output to the inverter to the solar comes from this Lynx power in and we then go through a main switch we have a 500 amp shunt that is coming to then the uh, Lynx power in those are our inputs from our two lithium batteries below that we have MPPT running four panels and another MPPT running two and those are all 120 watt uh, Myosol flexible panels and then those two little devices there those are thermostats that are going to allow us he says looking for a thermocouple that will run heat mats at five degrees just in the background using uh, less than an amp 800 watts to keep the batteries warm keep this entire area warm so moving across to the batteries these are the batteries built up. Now my plan was to use some CALB plastic bodied batteries and build up two or three banks. Uh, there was a seller online, they were expecting uh, delivery, they were £56 per cell, second hand, 200 amp hour, thought brilliant, we'll buy enough to make three banks at 150 amps each. That'll be fantastic. Pricing wasn't too bad. So what we have in here is a DALI uh, BMS at 200 amps. We're then running 280 amp hour cells, set of four in series. That gets us our uh, 12 volts nominal. Uh, and that brings, well, it's actually 12.8, 13 volts. Now these are actually made by a company called Off gridvan.life is their website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and these turned up after a couple of weeks. The issue I had with the cells is having bought them and been told when they would turn up and they'll be here soon, suddenly the deal was reneged on. I paid a good couple of thousand pounds for this eBay seller. They didn't turn up, they were in customs, lots of excuses followed by a cancellation of the purchase and just, I can't sell them that cheap. They weren't that cheap. Uh, and then came back suddenly, oh, well, if you want them, they're now more expensive and I can get them and they are here. And I just thought, you know what, don't trust you now. Nothing to do with these people. They've been really good. They have their own channel on YouTube and they've pretty much built what I wanted to see, which is in a case with the BMS, Bluetooth. These threaded bars keep these compressed. They're covered in uh, a plastic tube, so there's no short circuit risk coming out with a live. And obviously the neutral, I'll probably need to extend those to bring them long enough to swing across and go into the power in. All of this is going down here under the bed. Uh, I've moved some of the plumbing up onto the wall, try not to put too much stress on some, some older bits of plumbing. I might put an extra couple of clips, see how we get on. And uh, that should get us uh, this panel mounted on these two bits of wood across the back. Those go in, and then the inverter there, three kilowatts inverter, that can then drop down in there as well. That starts to deal with 
the lean that's on this boat and by the looks of the waterline has always had that lean. Um, the batteries are under there at the moment on the starboard side and there's a lot of lead over there as well with some more lead under the back there. Now that I think that could have been balanced much better and probably had needed all of it to be put across there. So that's it. Um, an awful lot of of building of batteries to do um, and we can then move on with getting some power in. Obviously the power supplies then need to come across. Uh, let's see if we can see under here. Pipe work runs across there. It then goes in behind the chlorophyre and we should be able to then bring the power supplies up into the engine bay uh, in behind there, swinging these across. And that's it.